Welcome back to Post Time. I'm Heather Vitale. The average lifespan of a horse is 25 to 30 years. So if you run across a horse in his 30s, well, it's not a complete shocker. But to hear of an equine who is just one birthday away from 40, well, you might want to see it to believe it. And that's exactly what I did when I heard about a retired standard bred racehorse who used to compete on the Delaware circuit and was still kicking up his heels on Delmarva. Come with me as we visit Lisa Carson and Parsons Best. Lisa, you own a very special horse. Tell me about him. His name is Parsons Best. He was uh, born in April 14th, 1978. He was actually owned by my uncle at the time, but my uncle has passed on since then. He retired him at eight. He'll be 39 next month, so he's basically did nothing for like 31 years. He's pretty much a loner. He doesn't really care too much about affection or he just likes and hanging out by himself, basically. I noticed he's got quite a lot of gray hair. So um, how has he changed over the years as far as personality and looks? About two years ago, he hardly didn't have that much white on his face. And about two years ago, he started steadily losing weight. And he kind of lost his mane, his forelock here, kind of broke off, hasn't grown back and he really started to lose a lot of weight at one time. So I talked to a friend of mine and our equine uh, dentist and she told me what to put him on. So I've got him on three different special kinds of protein feed. He gained probably maybe 100 pounds. It is a struggle to keep weight on. That's the only thing I have about him. But he does maintain where he's at. He doesn't gain, he doesn't lose. And just lots of feed every day. Uh, yeah, he seemed to be looking in that feed tub, so he's got an appetite. I mean, oh, oh he, he's, he, he eats wonderful. When I come out in the morning, his face is hanging over that gate, and he's talking to me until I get up there. And that's the first thing that I want to see in the morning when I walk out, is him over that gate still looking at me. So that just kind of like brights my day up. Oh, I love that. Um, spunkiness, like that's the first word that comes to mind when I saw him. I mean, originally we were going to do the interview with you holding him. He was having none of that. He wanted to be on his own, you know? Yeah, he um, he, he still trots around here. He'll, he'll even uh, canter. Um, and I tell him, please don't run. Please don't run. You're going to slip and fall. Um, a few times he slid like that at the gate, but um, he's got lots of energy. He's very, still very spunky, st uh, still very frisky. Um, he's not really slowed down much. Um, he's, I mean, he seems perfectly healthy. Um, the vet, like a couple weeks ago, was out, and she listened to his heart and lungs and said he basically sounded like a two-year-old. His heart and lungs was like a two-year-old. Well, uh, he's getting. Great amazing care like you can tell that you adore him yeah can you tell me a special story about him actually i can my uncle trained race horses and he trained oscar's father and so he bred him and his wife's parents mare together which got oscar so he's owned him since birth i believe it was in 1986 he actually was sold to someone and about seven or eight months later the guy that owned him then called my uncle on the phone and said, do you want your horse back? I can't get him to do anything. He won't eat for me. He seemed like he's just homesick. So my uncle was like, well, I really don't have like the money to buy him back now, you know, to what you bought him for. And the guy got off the phone, called him back and said, well, you know, if you meet me down up to Dover today at the racetrack, it was like on a Sunday afternoon, I will bring him back to you and just give him back to you. So my uncle went up on a Sunday afternoon and picked Oscar back up at the racetrack, brought him back home. So it's meant to yeah. be. He's getting treated like a king here. So uh, you can tell that even though he uh, is a bit of a loner, he definitely loves you. Yeah, he, he does. And we all love him and adore him. He just, you know, like you go over to him and you try to brush him and he'll just walk away or you go over and he'll just walk away from you some days some days he'll he'll let you stand around and love on him for a few minutes but after that he's pretty much had enough when i come outside he doesn't come over to the fence to meet me or anything 
if there was probably 10 horses out here, he would probably be the one that was way over, not in the herd, but then he would come over and try to boss him around still. He still got that boss in him, but he, you know, he kind of wears out pretty quickly trying to be the boss, but he doesn't realize that at first. So. Well, tell him, everybody from Post Time says happy birthday, early happy birthday. He'll be 39 in April, is that right? He will. Oh, he great, will. great. Well, many more to him. I and hope so. Thank you, Lisa, for being on the show. Thank you very much.